Here I want to talk about another method that I like to use to create, again, my primary slabs. I'm going to draw in some theoretical curves. So as you can see on my um, convergent body, I have this uh, very strong highlight or this very strong break in the surfaces that needs to be in there. And I'm going to go ahead and capture that using a couple of curves. So I'm going to go to Studio Spline and I want to draw on a plane, constrained to a plane, my XY plane. Now that I have that selected, I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball. Let's go to the top view. This curve here. Let me bring this out a little bit. Again, this does not have to be perfect. It's just something that I need to get kind of close. There we go. Now I'm going to draw another curve. This time it's going to go on the center plane. So what plane? ZX. And I'm going to make sure that it's constrained to that plane. So here I'm going to pick my side view. Let's go to, there we go. And I'm going to go pick my locations. Again, I'm just going to get it kind of close, kind of eyeball it. I really can't see exactly where that's at, right where I'm at. But it's just something to, again, start out with. Now that I have my curves in place, I'm going to go ahead and I want to do a combine curve. So I'll come down here, combine projection. I want this curve and this curve. Let me reverse this. And OK. So as we can see, I've gotten my curve. And it's pretty close to what I need in one direction, but in this direction, it's a mile away. So I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to move it down. As you can see, I'm not getting a live representation of that curve. And I want a live representation of that curve. So I'm going to go into my preferences for my modeling. I'm going to go into my edit and you'll see edit with rollback. I'm going to just say edit parameters. Select OK. I'm going to double click on that curve. Now, when I draw, drag this, you can see I get a, uh, a live display. OK. Now, if you want to see something even more, I'll go back into my preferences. We'll go into modeling. Now, if I go to, uh, to, to update, you'll notice the dynamic mode is set to incremental. And I'm going to set this to continuous. So this is a really good place for a continuous As you can see, now I have a live update on that curve. The reason why this is nice is because I can actually true this up. Something like that. And if you have all the time in the world, and this doesn't actually take too long, you can go ahead and um, get this as close as you need, right, to within whatever tolerance you're working to. Now that I have that curve in place, we're going to leave that curve uh, just as is. It works fine for what I'm doing. I'm going to take this now, and I'm going to go back into Home, and I'm going to go over here and say Mirror Geometry. I want to take this curve and mirror it across. Now that I've mirrored it across, I can go into Surface, and for this, I'm going to use, we'll say, uh, Through Curves. I want to go from this curve through over to this curve. If you have a middle curve, you can go ahead and input that middle curve. So as you can see, I have my initial surface and it's going to be close on the theoreticals, but maybe I need a little bit more control down the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up to this, this curve. I'm going to make it my current feature. I'm just going to copy and paste. So there's my new curve. I'm going to double click on it. It's not linked to anything. So with this, I can now modify this and get it close to what I need at the center line of the vehicle. Select OK. Go back to my through curve mesh. We'll say make current feature. Now when I go into my through curve mesh, or I'm sorry, not through curve, but my through curves, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to my list. We'll go to section one. And what I want to do is, is I want to add a new set. 
and that new set is going to be this curve that I just created. Let me reverse that. Now it's driven through that curve. Select OK. And as you can see, I'm starting to get really close without really doing much work to that initial primary slab. Now this is where the uh, true test comes. I'm going to go into X form. I'm going to pick my primary slab. And as you can see, I've got nice even parameterization, but it's a very complex surface. So with this, I'm just going to reduce the complexity of said surface. My initial patch count. And you can see here, this is where I'm deviating or how much I'm deviating off of the original. So it's minimal amount. Keep going a little bit more. So I'm now deviating about a less than a quarter of a mil off of my original surfaces. But here you can see I have a very, very simple surface. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease this. Now I'm starting to deviate a bit much and I can now increase the actual degree rather than patches. I'd rather have a higher degree like a four or a five degree to get this down to a uh, reasonable closeness with a minimum amount of patches. As you can see, now I am at uh, a tenth of a mil out. Now, across the center plane, I want to keep this as simple as possible, right? We don't want to roll control points across the center. We want this to be clean. And then now what this allows me to do is I can now start manipulating my control points. So if I needed to sweeten it up a little bit, clean things up a little bit, grab both rows, what direction do I want to move in? Uh, we'll just say normal. Now you can start cleaning and tweaking this up a little bit getting it closer to what you need curve-wise. So I'll come over here, pick those two. Right, I want to make sure that I'm picking both of these across um, that center plane to make sure that I remain perfectly balanced across my uh, center line. And what's nice about this entire method is, is if I come down here now to this original curve, double click on that curve, I can start playing around with this. As you can see, that surface is now really dynamic and easy to work with. I can do the same thing with this curve. So now I have the ability to move that surface quick and easy parametrically with the driving curves as well as my X form. Thank you.